and welcome to my video on cruelty free slash natural products for your house. More natural, I should say, than traditionally made ones. So what I have for you today are some changes I made to my products I use around the house because they're cruelty free. I made changes about two and a half years ago. This is a little backstory quickly. Two and a half years ago I decided only buy cruelty free products for myself so I kind of got rid of a lot of the products that I had that were tested on animals mostly like makeup and skincare, hair care. So I just bought new stuff, I tried out different brands just slowly but surely working my way through stuff and then um, about 10 or 11 months after that I decided to become vegetarian. It was actually the day before my Thanksgiving gathering, so... My family actually took it really well. They were like, oh, okay. <laughs> Not a big surprise, I've never loved eating meat and it was just a good change to make, I feel. So they've actually been really good about it. My grandma always is like, so what should we have for the Christmas gathering in three months? What do you think, Megan? It's so cute. I love it. Um, and then I've, as, when you become vegetarian, I feel like you think more and more about vegan, veganism and what that all entails. So I do love some of the changes that vegans make. I think it's so awesome and I've made some myself. This will be explained. Um, that might be the only change. Ooh, crap. Vegans. Yes, yes, yes. I think what they do is awesome and I kind of have a love and hate relationship of vegan products. I hate, 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 or I mean non-vegan products. I hate, hate, hate that they, they abuse animals so that we can, um, I don't even know how to say it, like, their pain is our gain, like, when they are treated badly, when, okay, for instance, with milk, okay, let's say this, the little baby calf is taken away from its mother so that we can use the milk instead of the calf, which is the rightful owner to that milk, or has rights to that milk, instead of the calf getting their mama's milk, we get their mama's milk, and it's completely unfair. Okay, I am so against the whole they suffer for our gain situation. But, on the other hand, and this is far outweighed by, by their pain. Okay, I'm not saying you shouldn't be vegan if you're felt to be vegan, okay? The thing I don't, ag no, that sounds so bad. Ugh. The thing I... Oh, I find animals freaking amazing, okay? I think everything that they do, everything, like, it's amazing that beeswax, for instance, what's this all about? Beeswax candles um, purify our air. Like, that's amazing. They don't, it doesn't just smell good. It purifies our air. That's, what? Or like, um, boar bristle hairbrushes. That's amazing that a boar's bristles treat our hair well. I'm like in awe and wonder of their abilities and stuff. Like, I mean, they don't deserve to be hurt for us. Absolutely not. But that's my thoughts on it right now. Okay, let's go down with it, shall we? Uh, before I get emotional. So, I kind of showed this to you already, but before even becoming vegetarian, I was like, I don't drink milk enough to buy a whole jug and, or a whole container and half of it gets dumped down the drain because I can't finish it before the expiration date. So, not only does, uh, like, nut milks, dairy-free milks, have a longer expiration date, but obviously no animals were harmed in this process. No animals were taken away from their mother in this process. Um, so I've tried coconut milk, almond, and cashew, and the nut milks, like cashew and, and, and almond, basically they taste like nut water. 
Yeah, it's gross. But coconut milk is a bit too thick if you want to drink it in a protein shake. So if you're, it depends what you're using it for, but I would recommend like a thinner one if you're using it in a shake or a smoothie. And then coconut milk is good for other things. Mostly I use milk for baking with anyway. So you really cannot taste a difference. No one that I've made stuff for has said, oh, this tastes different. You really cannot taste the difference in cooked foods or like in sauces or whatever. Okay, it's a good change, it's easy to make, and it'll save you money because you won't have to dump any out because it doesn't go expired and as quickly at a time. I have had to dump some out, but you don't feel as guilty because nuts were harmed. Ooh, that sounds gross. Sorry, that's not what I meant. Ah, uh, let's move on to candles. Look at this fancy candle. I made it with soy wax. I've also used beeswax, let me be honest. And I love, like I said, it purifies your air. Soy wax doesn't do that, but it is not harmful for your kitties, not harmful for yourself. There's no toxins in here that you're releasing, like um, the candles that you find in most places. So yeah, this is like soy wax melted down with essential oils in there as a fragrance. Next. <laughs> Toothpaste. I've used this guy. This is my first bottle tube tube of it. It has tea tree oil and cinnamon in there. In there, it took me a while to get used to that flavor, but it's not too bad. And then this one has been a repeat buy: the Tom's Simply White Fluoride Free Peppermint Toothpaste. Both of these were around like five dollars, I think. But whatever, you know, it's not like you use tons of it. Next, so we're moving on to, oh, we're still in the kitchen. Oh, toothpaste isn't in your kitchen. I should have arranged this into rooms, but whatever. Look at this, cute. Uh, my grandma gave that to me. Uh, this is our dish soap, scent, lime zest, and cypress. Actually, I don't think that's what's in here anymore. I bought a refill of a different scent. It was like sea salts or something like that really good I like this brand it's from fruits and passion and you don't need a lot it goes a long way and it's super gentle on your little hands next uh, method Ooh, I love most method products one I have tried that I didn't like it was a foaming dish cleaner it was just not strong enough for my liking but I like their dish tabs I like their all-purpose spray. This one's new. I can't wait to try it in Honeycrisp Apple Scent. I used pink grapefruit, French lavender, uh, bamboo, and there's tons of other ones. So yeah, I'm excited for that. I've tried their laundry detergent, their laundry softener, their dryer sheets, their glass spray. That might be it. No. Toilet bowl cleaner, bathroom cleaner, spray. I love it all. And I love that it's cruelty free and they're relatively cheap. I use their soap as well, hand soap. This I think was like $5, but it lasts a long time. Next, I'm kind of on that spray, whatever, spray fix? Nope, that's not it, but you know what. Whatever, Caldria Ginger Pomelo room and linen spray. This was $12 at a little boutique store and the next day I went to Target and it was $10 there so whatever. But I don't use this as much anymore. I do like it but look it's still kind of almost full and I have had it for like eight months. Most of the time I use my essential oils diffusers. I actually have two. I got a new one for Christmas. And you just do water in there and a few drops of essential oils and it makes your room smell really nice. Um, if you have cats though, keep an open area so that they can get away from it if they want because they're very sensitive to scents and their body does not metabolize essential oils. So keep that in mind, okay? Next, no one will know what this is but it's a favorite and I just wanted to share it with you. Manufactura Dead Sea Mud Regenerative, Regenerative Soap. Um, Manufactura is a brand in Czech Republic. Pr 
Prague. Well, that's where I got it from. I don't know if it's... Ah! I don't know if it's available anywhere else, but it's a little store that I went to. They have tons of products, all cruelty-free, and tons of, like, fresh, cool ingredients in there. And it's, like, the best little store. I miss it so much. I used to live there, so whenever someone said... Or so whenever someone's going there, I say, bring me back something from there, okay? That's what I like. Um, next is Dr. Brenner's Ma Magic Soaps. They are tons of scents as well, and there are tons of usages for them. I barely scratched the surface. I use them for my bath, okay? I think I've used them for my face as well. But there's, I've used peppermint, lavender, and rose. That's all I've used so far. Last but not least is the Arbonne Aroma Essentials <laughs> Fragrance Rejuvenating Body Mist. There we go. Um, this is Unwind. There's also Awaken. This one has chamomile and ylang ylang and it helps you relax. So I just spray it on my pillow right before I go to bed and then it just gets me nice and ready for sleepy time. Um, the Awaken I use right in the morning when it's like being <laughs> when I'm like so tired and it's so hard to get ready for sleep. That's what I spray on my face so that I can like get ready. It's so hard some days and that really helps. So that's what I got in like the five minutes before taping this episode. Um, yeah, I don't know any other, I'm sure there are other products I've used, but I just can't think of any of them right now. So if you have any like amazing cruelty free products that you recommend, I would try them if I can find them. And I hope that you all have a great rest of your day and go love your cats. Bye!